this is my 2000 and 2024 Razer RSF 650 or what I say 2000 now so this bike is what I got in 2023 it's a 2022 frame and I just recently put on the Conray 48 volt kit so it comes with a 48 volt 2000 watt motor made by Conray Conray 48 volt controller then a Conroy throttle and a grip and then what it also comes with is the junction box and I bought a 48 volt 20 amp battery and I should say that this thing lasts for the longest time ever there's four bars on this thing on the throttle and then pretty much each bar goes about six miles so i can go about 24 miles in a day and usually i just drive about six each day ever since i put my motor on i have put 54.2 miles 54.2 miles like and i just built this a little bit over a week ago so that's how much driving i do each day but the nice thing about this is that i like fully customized it i wanted to buy it so i could so i could like make money off of it so i bought it used for a very cheap price spent some money on mods so what this has is dual lights uh with turn signals in the back with the horn and then I have zoom brakes and the new brake rotors and then um, I have a key alarm to it and then uh, what I also have which I really like the fact is that the Conray motors are silver but if you look at mine it's carbon fiber carbon fiber just like my rear fender so my front fender is actually in wrapping process so i'm just gonna have to wait on that for a while but overall stock it comes pretty well stocked up storage right here it's pretty comfortable the only thing i wish it had is front forks so th this thing has like no it has forks but it doesn't have front suspension the back suspension is pretty cushy the shock is big overall like this bike is great i probably got it up to so the speed that it says recommended speed that people say it goes it goes with the specific kind of like either the kit or the way you're wired up this thing so the recommended is 35 to 38 and the fastest I've ever hit is 31.2. And I'm like, that that can't be true. That literally can't be true. Because 31.2, which it's recommended 35 to 38 miles per hour. So I probably just have to rewire it or somehow or something with the chain. And it's probably the sprockets because i put on my stock sprocket because i wanted to keep the stock chain because i didn't want to like buy a new chain and stuff i'm probably just going to sell it as is but the bigger sprocket gives you more torque but it gives you less speed so my friend also has the same kit uh and he put a bigger sprocket on and that thing only goes like 28 miles per hour it's really not that good so um this thing goes 32 my other friend has 248 volts the same kit so pretty much all of us boys get the same kit like most people so he has two of these and they go well 33. i'm not disappointed in it but i get it that the other people they have mx's this thing is an rsf it's a way heavier bike 
So I put like a custom license plate. I just did what I can at a reasonable price that I can sell it for a reasonable bri uh, price that I can make money. But overall, this thing is amazing. Also, what I forgot to mention is that I did put a Psych Plus uh, speedometer on it. So if you go to Saroncer's channel, he he's the one who gave me this whole idea of modding it and like just making it a 48 volt, this, uh, the speedometer, like he was my inspiration for it. And the kit also came with three speed, which is, I find in handy, but the only problem with it is that first speed is the slowest, second speed is the fastest, third speed is the middle. It's supposedly the cruise, but I don't think so. But uh, overall, it's a pretty good bike, has plenty of room inside the, um, inside the area. And then overall, the plastics are easy to take off. These plastics, I've taken off this plastic to install the light, so this is like not going to move. This plastic I haven't taken off ever because it's just too much work. But the side plastics I've taken off like probably 10 times. And then the fenders I've taken off because the chain guard, you have to take off the back fender in order to, um, in order to take this out. Unless you do it a smart way, which I haven't figured out yet. But also what I did to match the motor is that I did wrap the um, fender the same carbon fiber. So that, it just overall looks great in my eyes because as it came with carbon fiber stickers on the sides like i'm like okay i'm just going to do this as a matter of fact i am building a razor for someone like right now i not not like right now but i have done some things with my dad's help so the kid came over yesterday and we stripped his whole bike and he didn't have a battery yet or his hydraulic brakes. He only had one brake rotor. So I'm like, hey, order all the stuff, come back next week. So uh, like progress on it, has the same exact looking motor as me, same exact. Like, except that they're different companies. I'll introduce it later. Well, let's get the bike out. In order to get the bike out, I gotta move my go-kart pro. get the bike out gotta get my not extended regular go-kart out and I just love these things in my garage no space at all And here it is, a very, very old MX500, brand new back tire, the carbon fiber motor, but it's a Vever motor. So this may be a little bit better than mine. I don't know, because we haven't drove it yet. He has no battery, but it it's stripped. This is what we did all day yesterday until 4.30 and in the evening. But overall, I actually like this thing. It almost makes me jealous and want to make a actual dirt bike dirt bike. 
but still i like the rsf i like how smooth it is i just like how just different it is because these don't sell very well the rsfs go off like crazy which i love now this oh, needs to be moved back Look at the steering wheel, to me. I need to extend this thing. But we don't have much room in our garage. Excuse me. Oh, this is my favorite part, hold on. Well, I'm kind of out of breath because everything has moved. Finally, maybe I could take it for a test drive. Just not a test drive for the video, not for me. I've already driven this thing 54.2 miles. So I am driving the RSF right now. I was just going to drive this sometime else because out of all days, Saturday is right. Right now the rain stopped. I was about to do these videos a bit earlier. So now we're out while it's while it's not raining. Ah, I'm skidding. Let's try doing a wheelie. And a super duper slippery. Feet are like sliding. That's how I don't feel safe on this thing. Man, I drive a lot. Okay. Let me warm myself up. And then do another wheelie. I did a wheelie that gracefully. It's getting dirt. Yeah, it totally is raining right now. Like in all the puddles, like I see raindrops. There's something with my chain. My chain is making noise. Where's my brake loader? I feel like it's my front brakes. No. Definitely sounds like my rotor. Hey, let me try kicking my brake. Maybe. My brake is super loose. Yeah, that's the first thing I'm doing when I get home. I'm definitely going to tighten that. Even though it's raining right now, why not do a burnout? Okay, burnout. That's all done. Now time to continue back home. That did not sound good. That did not sound good. That really did not sound good. I, I don't like the sounds of my brakes. I just don't know what's up with them. Okay, and then we are back in the garage. So this brake is firm. No way. No way. Oh my goodness, that... That's bad. That is bad. I have bolts missing. So that's why my brakes are so, like, noisy. What about my front one? Okay, I have all my front bolts. 
my brake is kind of loose. Man, now I know how clumsy I am of building things. My my back brake was like, man, I never noticed this. I, I have to get a bunch of bolts these size. I'm probably just gonna use some stock ones. Today's a brand new day. I am fixing up the RSF from the brake rotors. And also I have lost some of my keys. So we are probably going to go out on the go-kart pro on one of the slow modes, see if we can recover them. I actually lost this key, but I put my extra one on. I still have these two keys, but I'm missing about four others, maybe three. No, about two, I think. So we're probably just going to go out, see if we can find them. Got the toolkit all set up for later. And just to be safe, I'm probably just going to leave. I'm just going to leave the keys right there. Hey, let's take this buddy out. Okay, let's go. That's way too small. Probably just gonna drive around. No, I didn't find them. Oh, I found them. House key. My bike lock key. Another small damage key. Look at this key. So, okay, let me fix it with my fingers. So this key originally was key to my safe. But I guess like a literal van ran this over. Like all the plastic is gone. 
and this one can still be reusable this one if i unlock my door with it it works but man i am like so happy right now i am like super duper happy right now okay let's see if it will lock there it locked let's go man i lost these keys and i felt so bad i felt so bad after that so like after i found the keys you can see i'm in four cell that's four i zoomed home on corso like i can show you guys how i uh, how i drove like i was so excited So, got a stand, need to lift that up, and also, sadly, my O'Neill gloves have to go, my work gloves I need to put on, because I'm going to be touching tires. So, with this, what I have here is um, two socket wrenches for taking off the tire, then I have a jack for lifting it up, got all my bits I probably won't need. I got a bag of bits and tools and stuff for taking off the rotor. And then I have my drill, obviously. And then one last thing I have, which I need to take four bolts off, is my stock rotors, which I actually am selling. Uh, well, I want to say sadly, but sadly I have to put these on. But I was going to say, sadly, I have, to, you know, I have to take them off. But they're for good causes, which I'll put them back on. But I have two rotors. I have a bunch of bolts I'm not using right now. So might as well just fit these in. Okay, and then let's probably just start by taking this off. Move that supposed to do this I only need to lift it up a little bit you know what I've got to know an idea doesn't mean it's gonna be a good one though so next what I have here is my jack it's going to lift it a little bit off the ground but not as much as that would which I just need to lift it off a little bit. That's why I didn't realize I don't want to ruin my carbon motor, so I'm willing to have to place it perfectly about right there. Okay. And then center it and lift. There, I'm lifting, I'm lifting. Is my tire spin? Okay, we're good. We're good. Yes. Let's retire this. And then, now it's just time for the tools. Putting the gloves on, got her working with a big pipe bender. Pipe bender, but it's a pipe that's out of the ground, so I use it. Now it's probably time to take the tire off. Putting it on over here really quickly, like this. Yep, and this is stuck on here, so I'm just gonna have to. So let's take the tire off. Hold on. Let's take the chain, the chain, the chain. I'm gonna take the chain off. Okay, the tire is off. One bolt. One bolt in there. Okay. 
Okay, let's fix on this side. This is not the fix This side. It just comes on. That's unreal. That stays, but... <sighs> Actually stuck on there. That's not good. That's that's not good. Oh, can't stay in here forever. Oh, I see my mistake. Maybe I do. It's like I put it on there and now I can't yank it off. It was all stuck there though. I, when, I, when I saw this thing, it's just gonna be like, yeah, all you gotta do is find the right wrench, just pop it on there. And there you go. And I keep the bit and stuff. It comes with a free bit. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Um, it looks fine. The correct. Bit for this thing because these are that these actually you know what I could probably loosen it with my fingers because I don't want to find the correct bit it's gonna just be too hard there the bit is off this is off that's how easy it was to take this off oh yeah I lost my bolt somewhere where did I Right here. Okay. So that's that. Put this on. Wrong bit. Find the correct bit size. Mm. Never thought when I got an RSF I would have to do this much work and put this much money into it. modding anything it's already modded but problems problem after problem okay there we go correct drill bit is There, only two bolts on, got four off. And these bolts are tiny too, I don't like that. But whatever, gotta live with it. Iron stuff is finished. I don't think I'll videotape, because it's kind of getting already late and dark too so i'm just gonna take it out for a quick run and then i will continue on tomorrow